start essential for both teams here as they look to head towards the knockout stage. Well, Peter, both of these teams will take to the pitch with a three-point focus. Ambition is fresh and strong, and each will want to go deep into the competition, so neither will be looking to come out of this with a, a flawed game plan. This has to be assured and close to their best. But just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Harry Kane. He's a deadly finisher, Peter, obviously, but he can contribute much more than that for his team. He's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness to bring pretty much everyone else into play. His best attributes, however, might be his, his enthusiasm, his energy and his desire to win because those things become infectious to others. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Drives it towards the front. Iran have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. He's made sure that that won't get through. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Now it's Kane. Kane plays it out to the wing. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Looking to hit the front line. Hoists it forward. Very well to intervene. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Danger averted for now. Tries to get it clear. Played forward. Plays it out to the flank. It's got through to him. Now it's Kane. Gets away from his opponent. Kane. He's had a shot. He's been off try. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. He's launched himself there. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. He's making good use of his strength there. Tries a shot! And that's off target. Oh, it was the first touch to die for, and it set him up beautifully. Forward it goes. Forward it goes. Played out to the right. Good take, and he's had a look. 
Scotland really are enduring a, a frustrating spell when it comes to trying to move the ball around the midfield. Has a hit! He's pulled off a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Kane hits one goal. Looks offside, I think. Yep, the flag is up. Yeah, the assistant called it correctly. There's some disagreement, as usual, but they've got it right. Disappointment and relief on either side. Nothing doing. He's a clever pass. England have a free kick. Ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Yeah, and he has to change his ways or this ref shoots! That carried quite a threat. It was hard to see any better outcome there. Good ball. He's there to us and the shot! Very, very well played by the skipper. He was only too aware of the importance of the goal at this late stage in the first half. He knew it would affect the teams. All part of the thought process from someone in his position. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. He deals it and he's come good yet again. The three's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Reflections on the first half. A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter attacking now, so it's paying dividends. England come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. Certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. England going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. England clearly seem to have lost their passing accuracy, something they're obviously going to have to fix pretty quickly now. Gets the better of his man. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play. Has a look and has a go. Gave it a go, but off target. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Brings it forward. Loose, who's getting there? Oh, that is asking for trouble. Great leap! It's anyone's ball. Rice brings the pitch one. Well, that is rather wayward. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. So here comes the substitution. Who's 
out on the left now. Now it's Sterling. And Sterling! Tries to get it forward quickly. As Asmoon! Oh, surely that deserves better. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Rice hoists it forward. Alexander-Arnold. Sterling. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the message they're sending out now is pretty loud and clear. Let's grab a second goal and, and give ourselves an element of comfort. Now, chance to break. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He'll have a go. Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment, he's... Have a shot. He has done it! Two up, and threatening to pull clear. And as soon as they made that error in the court, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Forward as Moon. That's just an example of over committing, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. No, no way through there. It's the through ball. Now it's Kane. Has a pop. Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. Kane just got a little carried away with himself there. He knew he could have clinched it. Trouble there, free kick given away. Sneaks it out of harm's way, cleans it out wide. Sit forward. Asmoon.
Sterling. And here's Kane. And here's Grealish. Gets it back. The referee's awarded a free kick. And that's been leave it clear. off the ball. Keeper's got good distance on that. He's through. And the flag has stayed down. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, taken with style! With so little time left, grandstand finish! about the timing of the pass and run. They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Iran give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Into stoppage time, very little left on it. It's just a question of running down the clock now. Flip ball forward. And it's Grealish. Grealish. A heavy challenge. Referee has just said play on. Helps available out wide. Pickford deals with it effortlessly. And that will be the final act. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day, and a platform on which to build. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence now from a very good victory and look ahead with real...